On today's Disney Roundup, Disney officially announces the opening date for Tron. Return dates have been announced for Happily Ever After and Epcot Forever, along with an update on the future of the Harmonious Barges, and new details have been announced for World of Color 1. I have all that and more for you coming up right here on the DRU. To infinity and beyond! Hey everyone, Jeff here and welcome to the Disney Roundup where I bring you up to date with all the latest Disney and Disney Parks news each and every single week. If you're new to my channel, please go ahead and hit that like button for me and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to receive the Disney Roundup each and every single week. And starting off with Parks news, following a series of cryptic posts, Disney has officially announced the opening date for Tron Light Cycle Run. Just the other day, Disney Parks shared a post hinting as to when Tron Light Cycle Run could be opening at the Magic Kingdom. The cryptic post here shares a list of letters and numbers in the style of an old arcade ranking list with the caption, Need a Clue. Along with the hint to the possible opening day, the post also includes some fun Easter eggs. For instance, line one is the Tron high score, and line three, TL 12 17 2010, TL standing for Tron Legacy and the date it was released, line four, JB 12. 1904-1949, which is Jed Bridges' birthday, who was in Tron Legacy. Magic Kingdom's date is also on Line 5, followed by Disneyland's on 6, and Tron's opening date at Shanghai Disneyland on Line 9. Also here possibly hinting when the ride would open in Lines 2 and 10. However, following the first cryptic post, Disney shared another one the following day, then later officially announcing the ride will open on Tuesday, April 4th. The story of Tron Light Cycle Run picks up after Tron Legacy, where Kevin Flynn's son Sam has opened a second gateway into the digital realm called the Grid. The first of these portals he created is found at Shanghai Disneyland with the original Tron Light Cycle Power Run. When you enter the queue at Magic Kingdom, you'll feel as if you're digitized and transported to the Grid for a special Light Cycle race. It's your Team Blue against the Grid's menacing programs Team Orange. Your goal is to be the first to race through eight energy gates and secure victory. Before the attraction officially opens, cast members will be the first to enter the Grid during special previews, along with previews for annual pass holders and eligible Disney Vacation Club members. Preview dates have not been announced as of yet, but make sure you subscribe and stay tuned, and I'll let you know when those are announced. With Walt Disney World's 50th anniversary coming to an end at the end of March, and Disney Enchantments and Harmonious leaving with it, Disney has now announced return dates for Happily Ever After and Epcot Forever. Happily Ever After returns to the Magic Kingdom on Monday, April 3rd, featuring all new projections down Main Street, USA. Disney Enchantment will continue to be offered through April 2nd. As announced at the D23 Expo in September, an all-new nighttime spectacular is planned to debut at Epcot later this year. Before the new show launches, Epcot Forever will return as an interim show over the skies of World Showcase Lagoon, also starting April 3rd. Disney says Epcot Forever's return will be similar to how it appeared in 2020 but there will be a phased removal of fireworks platforms following the final Harmonious performance on April 2nd, officially confirming the Harmonious barges are out. Nothing else was said on the new nighttime spectacular coming to Epcot, but I think most Disney fans, including myself, are happy to hear the Harmonious barges are leaving. With the Epcot International Festival of the Arts beginning later this week, Disney has shared new details and menu items for this year's festival. The Epcot International Festival of the Arts begins this week, Friday, January 13th, running all the way through February 20th. New this year, you can explore Figment's Inspiration Station at the Odyssey, Art Food, and Little Sparks of Magic. And not only that, but you can bring home Figment with a brand new Fruity Fig Bar Figment Munchling, and the Figment Premium Popcorn Bucket is back, but this year with a new Epcot 40th Anniversary Strap. With nearly 15 food studios, there are many new and returning favorites. This year, Pop Eats will introduce a tomato soup with pimento pimento cheese, bacon, and fried green tomato grilled cheese. At the artist table, three meat meatloaf with peas and carrots and hummingbird cake. New to this year, Modern, which is located near Test Track, has the angry crab being a whole crispy soft shell crab dish. Now these are just some of the new items being introduced to the festival as there's a total of 50 new items coming this year on top of those returning. If you'd like to check out all the menu items, I will leave a link to that in the description down below. 
Making its debut in just over two weeks, Disney has shared new details for World of Color 1. With an inspiring message that illustrates the storytelling legacy Walt Disney began a century ago, this production by Disney Live Entertainment is one of the new experiences and special offers coming to the resort in honor of the Walt Disney Company's 100th anniversary in 2023, including the debut of Wondrous Journeys at Disneyland Park. World of Color 1 celebrates how a single action like a drop of water creates a ripple that can grow into a wave of change. You'll discover how it only takes one action to make an impact on the people in our lives and the world around us. Just as one man, Walt Disney started the wave that has continued to grow and inspire people around the globe for 100 years. This is the first Disneyland Resort Nighttime Spectacular to feature characters, music, and moments from Walt Disney Animation, Pixar, The Avengers, and Star Wars in the same production. Moments from these films will emerge on an immersed water screen that can span up to 380 feet across. The spectrum of stories is set to a beautiful musical score comprised of 18 different compositions, including a new original song, Start a Wave. During the show, you can even wear your Magic Band Plus to experience another dimension of storytelling. Your band will enhance the effects with synchronized dancing lights and vibrations. When World of Color 1 debuts, you'll be able to access viewing areas for the show through a virtual queue system available on the Disneyland app. Distribution for the complimentary virtual queue will begin at noon daily for guests who have entered DCA for the day or have entered Disneyland Park with a park hopper ticket. If you have obtained a virtual queue selection, you can enter your viewing area approximately 30 to 45 minutes before the show begins. World of Color 1 makes its debut at DCA on January 27th. As Disney prepares for the opening of Tron this spring, they have announced new details guests will need to know before riding. According to Blog Mickey, Disney has confirmed that guests will need to store their items in a locker before riding Tron. From Disney, they say all loose articles must be stored in lockers or left with a non-rider. This will make the first ride across all of Walt Disney World to require this as all other attractions on property give you the option to store items in front of you, but given Tron's unique ride vehicle, that's not possible here. Disney has not announced any further details on the locker system for Tron as of yet. Now on Outside the Parks news, guests planning to stay at Walt Disney World this year, be aware if you stay enough nights you could be eligible for a dining promo card. Disney has rolled out a new special offer this year where guests staying on property at Walt Disney World can get up to a $750 Disney dining promo card. This can be obtained by purchasing a non-discounted five-night, four-day vacation package that includes a room at a select Disney Deluxe Resort or Disney Deluxe Villa Resort, along with theme park tickets, and on most nights from July 1st to July 10th or August 1st to September 14th. A lower value Disney Dining promo card may also be available when you purchase this package during the select summer arrival dates. The number of packages available for this offer is limited. Everyone in the same room must be on the same package. The Digital Disney dining promo card is redeemable at select participating food and beverage locations at the Walt Disney World Resort. Coming later this year, Disney has announced new restaurants coming to the Downtown Disney District. The fan favorite Earl of Sandwich will be returning to the Downtown Disney District this February. Soon you can once again look forward to one of their hot sandwiches on artisan bread with grab and go options at Earl of Sandwich or table service options at Earl of Sandwich Tavern, both of which will be temporarily located at the La Brie Bakery location as La Brie Bakery is exiting the restaurant business. Additionally, as previously shared at the D23 Expo, Porter's Bakery will be bringing their famous cheese rolls, California Cuban cuisine, and more to the district. Plans are underway to design and construct an all-new Porter's location near the Esplanade on the footprint of the La Brie Bakery location as well. No further details, but new concept art was also shared for the Din Tai Fung restaurant, which will open on the west side of the district in the future. Arriving next month, Marvel Studios has announced when Black Panther Wakanda Forever will premiere on Disney+. Plus. Coming to Disney Plus next month, Marvel Studios' Black Panther Wakanda Forever will be available for streaming beginning February 1st. Black Panther Wakanda Forever ventures back to the kingdom of Wakanda where a new threat emerges from the hidden undersea nation. In the film, Queen Ramonda, Shuri, M'Baku, and others fight to protect their nation from intervening world powers in the wake of King T'Challa's death. As the Wakandans strive to embrace their next chapter, the heroes must band together 
together with the help of war dog Nika and Everett Ross and forge a new path for the kingdom of Wakanda. Earlier this week, Marvel Studios released a brand new trailer for Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. A new Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania trailer debuted during Monday's college football playoff national championship, kicking off phase five of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. The fast-paced big screen adventure features MCU's most powerful villain to date, Kong the Conqueror. Superhero partners Scott Lang and Hope Van Dyne return to continue their adventure as Ant-Man and the Wasp. Together with Hope's parents, Jeanette Van Dyne and Hank Pym, and Scott's daughter, Casey Lang, the family finds themselves exploring the quantum realm, interacting with strange new creatures, and embarking on a new adventure that will push them beyond the limits of what they thought was possible. Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania opens in theaters on February 17th, and if you'd like to see the new trailer, I will leave a link to that in the description down below. All right, everyone, that's all you for this week's episode of the Disney Roundup. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to hit that like button for me, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to receive the Disney Roundup each and every single week. That's all you for this week, and until next time, we'll see you on the DRE.